Hi guys, I'm getting ready to go over bike packing 101, at least I think. I've actually never been on a bike packing tour before, so I had to do a lot of research. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the equipment that I'm actually going to use on the ride, and I'm planning on learning a trot lot from trial and error. We're going to the Great Allegheny Passage and the CNO Canal, and we're going to be gone for four days. So we're going to try to get the whole trail done. So let's look at some of the things that I'm actually taking along with me on the course. Of course, I have my bike that I'm going to go with. I went with the hardtail because I have panniers I'm going to put in the back, so I didn't want to wear that weighing it down. But let's start with the front of the bike. I do have my helmet. You have the water bottles. In here, I have a place that I can put my phone. And inside my front pack bag, which I like, is I have all my tools, one of my favorite things that I have is my quick tire pump. And that's a lot of stuff that I would use on my road bike as well. Uh, I do have a light and that'll be helpful for when I go camping. If we look back here, I had to modify the back rack because my panniers kept hitting the back of the bike. So let's look at the, some of the stuff that I actually packed. My panniers here are going to be going on the back of my bike. I have all my clothes packed. I have four days worth of clothes. Uh, just four changes of clothes and a pair of night clothes. Uh, what I'm going to actually put in, you need for the bike, I have some spare tires. I actually have a spare chain in there. I'm going to be taking three sets of bike gloves because you don't want to be riding in wet gloves. That can make your hands all gross. I'll be, I have my bike chain, uh, a pump. Uh, so that will help to get the, it up to the right pressure. We're going to be taking some money along. Uh, not forgetting my chargers. And I have a solar power charger. While we are planning on going to campgrounds, you never know when you're going to be stuck without it. I was actually going to take a really cool small cooking kit, but I decided instead we'll get a lot of food along the way. But I am taking a lot of cliff bars along as snacks. And I cannot go without my caffeine, so I have that just in case we do not run onto any places with caffeine. Other things that I actually read about taking was my first aid kit. So on here I have band-aids, triple antibiotic, got my lighters if I need it. Um, I have blister relief packs. What else do I have down here? Oh, icy hot. I know I'm going to get a little bit sore. Uh, I am taking a leave along that will help me. And for the ride, I'll have some wipes so that I can clean off. But I do like to take showers, so when we get to the campground, I am going to take some showering stuff, small amount, my toothbrush, floss, extra pair of contacts, I don't want to forget that, can't have my hair all crazy. Some of the sleeping stuff I have, all we're doing, we're sleeping out under the stars. So I have my sleeping pad, a sleeping bag. I have a little bivy here, and that is actually waterproof and windproof. For at the campgrounds, my super bright light. Whoop, yep, blinding. And I saw that they also recommended to have earplugs, so I am taking them along. Uh, we do have maps that we're going to take, just so that we are ready and in case we need to know where we're at. And the final thing that I'm actually going to be taking along is I have rain gear, just in case. Now, like I said, I've never been bike packing before, so this is going to be all trial and error, which is something that I actually like to do. We are planning on doing a lot more tours, and I'm sure that I'll learn a lot as we go around this time. Uh, I'm planning also doing a lot of backpacking, um, horseback packing, which would be really fun because then I do less of the work. But I will let you know how everything goes.